The United States White House announced that effective 1st January 2024, four countries, namely Uganda, Central African Republic, Gabon, and Niger, are suspended by the U.S. from participation in the African Growth and Opportunity Act also known as AGWA, Preferential Trade Program. According to Washington, the disconnected countries do not meet the requirements described in the Trade Act. The Act demands that beneficiaries are not to undermine the U.S. national security or foreign policy interests or engage in gross violations of internationally recognized human rights. Hello and welcome again to the Edge Politics Podcast. Geopolitical Queen here with today's episode on the U.S. placing the private affairs of two consenting adults above the welfare of a whole nation. The master global bully strikes again. This time around, it is to show Uganda where power lies. U.S. President Joe Biden In announcing his intention to remove four African countries from the AGWA beneficiary list in October 2023, claimed that Uganda, especially, had engaged in gross violations of internationally recognized human rights due to an anti-homosexuality law which was passed in the East African nation in May 2023. What an allegation. Who were those international bodies that declared that these alphabet community private acts were supposed to be an act for all? Were the opinions of the Global South considered when this decision was made or the global south is irrelevant on the surface of this earth. The bill which authorities said was meant to protect Uganda's cultural, religious and family values prompted the World Bank to suspend loans to Uganda, as well as Washington to impose sanctions on Ugandan officials linked to the law. So what is AGWA at all? AGWA is the African Development and Opportunity Act. It was passed in 2000 under the then U.S. President Bill Clinton to provide eligible sub-Saharan African countries with duty-free access to the U.S. market. The act was renewed for 10 years by Barack Obama in 2015. It is actually designed to provide financial help for eligible sub-Saharan African countries that do not undermine U.S. national security or foreign policy objectives. On Niger and Gabon, the U.S. President Biden gave the reason that these two countries have failed to establish or make progress in protecting political pluralism and upholding the rule of law 
because of the military coups that overthrew their governments. And don't forget, these are the U.S. preferential governments, the American puppets, who sells all the products of Africa for free and accepts to impose American laws on their own nations as their foreign laws. The Ugandan president, Yoveri Museveni, in response to this action in early 2023, stated that the U.S. government has overestimated its importance to the East African country. He rather urged citizens not to be overly concerned about Washington's acts as African countries can keep moving forward without wasting aid. Also note that in early December 2023, the U.S. imposed a new round of sanctions on Ugandan officials. The Ugandan Foreign Minister, Henry Okelo Oyem, criticized Washington of pushing its colorful alphabet agenda in Africa. But if we are supposed to be real, what kind of world are we in today? What business has the private affairs of two consenting adults got to do with the affairs of a nation? So much so that nations are being expelled from global associations. Why should the domestic affairs of the United States become the foreign affairs of other independent nations? So what do you think? Is it the United States arrogantly abusing power or so-called poor countries have no right to live their lives according to their cultural values? Well, kindly leave your comments in the comment section below and thanks for tuning in. I will be back with the next broadcast. Good day.